Hey Hypesters, it's Job here and welcome to Hype News. This week we released our latest update, which includes multiple interesting changes to the Hype Hype editor. But before we jump to the editor changes, I want to remind you of the recent big announcement, Creator Monetization. Two weeks ago, we announced the Creator Monetization. This means that anyone can now earn money by making games in Hype Hype. With that, we also started a 100,000 USD hit game competition. For more information about the Creator Monetization and the competition, Check this video. There are also links with all the information in the video description. Now, let's jump to the latest editor changes, starting with the new logic visualization. Now you can see the inputs and outputs that have links connected to them. This makes the logic easier to read, since there is no need to individually select all the nodes to see what's happening. You can also create links directly from the selected node. Simply drag from the input or output to another node. This is the first iteration, and we'll be improving this in the future. Let us know in the comments if you have any feedback related to this or any other features. Your feedback is really valuable, and it helps us to shape the editor. In addition to the new logic visualization, we have also added a bunch of new nodes that will make creating logic easier. First, we have a selector node that works similarly to the switch node. The difference is that instead of having multiple outputs, it only has one output and multiple inputs. You can set the data type to be anything you need, and there are three ways to select between inputs. Selector node is extremely powerful and will simplify the logic in multiple cases. Next, we have a sphere cast. It's similar to the ray cast, but instead of casting a single ray, it casts a sphere with customizable radius. And finally, we have two new joints. Attachment joint lets you attach two objects together, and distance joint tries to keep the two objects within the specified minimum and maximum distances. Of course, there were also many smaller improvements and bug fixes. If you want to learn more about those, you can find a link to the full release notes in the video description. We are also working on many interesting features like pathfinding and world map. Uh, check this video to learn more about those and subscribe so you don't miss the new information. And that's all for today. Let us know in the comments what you think about this update and join our Discord where you can connect with other creators. Thanks for watching and see you in Hypipe.